Namaste, Namaste. Welcome, welcome to Preeti's Yoga, Pilates, Pranayam, Meditation. Welcome above all to your me time. This is your me time with me. With that, we do a soft march. And that march has to be with a beautiful smile. I see Seema Bain's beautiful smile, Rina's smile. And there goes Armani Bain with her beautiful smile. Devyani Bain, your smile is enigmatic. With that, we roll our, arm, roll our arms up and down. So when you have your window open, it really helps me to help you, not only to encourage you, but whatever little I can help you to fix your form. With that, with your arms right in the middle, we open, we give a big hug. We open, we give another hug. Hug yourself, yes. Sometimes we forget to feel our own self, doesn't we? Yes, but with a beautiful smile, nice hugs. Excellent, excellent, beautiful. Let's slowly, let's take a break. Take your left hand, lock your left nostril and closing your eyes, concentrating to breathing only with our right nostril. And you breathe in and you breathe out. The right nostril is called Surya Nadi. Surya Nadi generates heat in our body. Surya Nadi generates energy in our body. It helps us to burn more calories. Breathe in, breathe out. One more time. Breathe in, breathe out. Very good. Good job, my dear friends. Now, my dear friends, let's do one thing. Let's roll our arms back. We're opening and warming up our chest for five, four. And then where are we going to go? The opposite direction. Last one, now put your arms in the front and you roll it down. So roll it down, soft march, roll it down. Very good, only two more. Last one and come on up. My favorite warm up exercise is to warming up your calf muscle. After your heart, this is where the major lymph nodes are there. So bring your legs to Pilates V. What is a Pilates V? Connect both your heels together. Look down. And when your heels are together, where are your toes facing? Diagonal. Now, with that, we bend. When we come up, we are zipping up our thighs. We lift up our heels. We drop the heels. We bend. Zip. Lift up. Down. Bend. Zip up your thighs. Lift up. Now we add arms to it. So we are down, lift up, toes are up, and you come down. Now we do single form. Down, heels up, heels down, heels up, heels down, heels up. Last three, last two. For the last one, when we come up, we leave our heels up only. Leave your heels up, put your hands on your waist. Now, look down and straighten up your toes facing forward. Heels are still up. Let's go 10 counts only up. Lift your heels up. Do not drop your heels at all. I'm really activating those lymph nodes. Those are very important. Five, four, three, two, last one. Shake your legs out. Shake your legs out. Excellent. With this warm up, a good balance is very important. So we'll start with our balance. Come on your waist and your hands on your waist. Either you come on your big right toe or you lift up the leg and stay there. You don't have to look at me. Look at one something which is not moving and keep on gazing at them. Where is all the weight going? Weight is going all on the left big toe for five, four, three. Now what am I going to do? I'm going to extend a little bit. I come in. I extend, I come, it doesn't have to be too high, too low, doesn't matter, wherever you are. Last three, two, last one, we bring it in, we slowly drop it. Shake your legs out one more time. Now the weight is going to be all on your right leg, but on your right toe. 
same thing. So look down, find a spot which is not moving. Come up on your big toe. Now slowly lift up your leg and stay there. Excellent. Um, you can be here, opening up your arms. Arms can be up. Arms can be behind your head, wherever you are today. If you're here, absolutely ready to extend. Extend one, two, three. Tuck the belly button in. Four, last one. Lift up and slowly let it go. Excellent, excellent, my dear friends. Now, if you have a ball, grab your ball, which is, where is my ball? Oh boy. <laughs> oh, there it is. <clears throat> Bring your legs more than hip width apart. Now, hold your ball. If you do not have a ball, imagine you having a ball. Or take a towel. Take a pillow, whatever you have, because the ball is just there to keep our form going. So keep the ball close to your chest. And all I'm doing is, look at how I'm bending. So my toes, first of all, pay attention. Your toes are facing diagonal. So look down. The toes are not facing forward, they're facing diagonal. Now, bend right, come up. Again, bend right, come up. Bend right, come up. You got it? So only the right leg is bending. What is the left leg doing all the time? Always it's straight. It's not bending. Excellent form, Amitachi. Now, what am I doing with this ball? I'm giving you a spine warm-up rotation. So when I bend, I take the ball behind, behind my right knee. And when I come up, I hit it. So your goal is to go without bending the elbows. So let's do the hand first. Rotate. Do not bend your elbows. Very good, very good, Mickey. Rotate. Good job. So bend right. Look up to the ball. Look down to the ball. Follow your gaze to the ball. Look down to the ball. Follow your gaze to the ball. Very good. You'll be feeling it in your inner thighs. We are straightening our spine. And guess what? We are working. We're working on our abdominal, our side obliques. Only three more, Asha Ji. One. Two. Last one. Come back to the center. Very good, very good. If I stop my count, ignore it today because I'm really struggling with my voice. So let's get our leg on the left side. We bend left. We come up. Make sure you look at your toes. Are they facing diagonal? It's very important they face diagonal. Very good, Pinky, this side. Now, take the ball. I'm looking at the ball. I'm following the ball and I rotate to the right side. Rotate to the right side. Do I need to bend my elbows? Absolutely not. Do I need to hold my ball very tight? Absolutely not. Light fingers. Very light fingers. We're almost done. Five. Four. <clears throat> three. Two. This is it. Last one. Slowly come on back. We put the ball back. And my dear friends, Zip up your thighs. I want you to, before we start any oblique exercise, I actually want you to feel what we are going to work. So see, did you zip up the thighs? Now bring your hands up, up, up. Now do prayer hands. Prayer hands. Make sure the thighs are zipped up. Now, keep on bending to the right. Keep on bending to the right. One more inch. One more inch. Send this hip to the right. Little more. So take the drop hand, left hand. Pull it. Hold the left hand. Pull it. Five, four, three, two. Slowly come up. Slowly come up. Prayer hands. Start going to the left. Slowly, slowly send the right hip all the way to the right side. Take your right arm, your right wrist. 
Take your right wrist and pull it. Feel the stretch. Make sure the hand is not covering your face. And slowly, perfect Aarti from New York. Slowly come up. Very good. Let's give a nice rotation to our shoulders. Hope you felt that reverse. Excellent, excellent. Very good, my dear friends. Now, bring your legs more than hip width apart. Opposite hand, opposite toe. But every time we're going to come up. So, right fingers meeting the right toe. I come up and say hi to you. I rotate, I come up and say hi to you. Don't have to go too low if you're feeling lightheaded. But give a nice rotation. Why do we have to come up? Coming up brings your heart rate up. So it helps us to burn extra calories. It's, that's why I'm making you guys come up and down. Very good. Five. Four. Excellent. Three. Give a nice rotation. Rotate it. Rotate it. Very good. Excellent. You know, being from Austin. Arms are straight. Last set. Last set. Finish it. Finish it. And slowly come on up. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Now, my dear friends, Let's grab our weight. We have both two weights. We're going to cross the right leg. Cross the right leg. The left hand comes right here. So the hand is behind your ears, okay? And the right hand, we're going to, we're going to push it down. Can you feel it right here in your oblique? Excellent, and we come up. Ready? Only five we're going to do all the way coming up. So we push it down. We come all the way up. Ready? Let's go. Five, all the way up. Four, three, two. Last one. Stay down. Stay down. Now push it down for ten. Ten, nine. Now send your hand far away. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come up. Now we do five slow. Okay, ready? Hang in there. You don't want to use weight? Don't use weight. You don't have to use it till you get used to it. Two, all the way up. Three, suck your belly button in. Four, last one. Slowly come on up. Untuck your toes, untuck your legs. Now, the left leg cross over. Right hand goes behind your ears. And bring the elbow up and you push down, push down. And feel the obliques. Feel the obliques. So if your hand is in the forward, turn it around. Very good. Slowly come up. Let's do slow five. Slow five. All the way down. All the way up. We're almost done. Almost done. Yes. Only two more. And for the last one, I meet you down. Once I meet you down, bring your hand a little far away from you. And you go down and down. Do not come up. Yes. If you are sore tomorrow, that means it worked. That means also that you need to come back again and again with me to work on it. Last one. Slowly come up. Ready for the five slow? This is it. Last five. Four, three, two, last one, and slowly come on up. Let's take a break from the weight. And we will start with Surya Namaskar. We will do two sets of Surya Namaskar. So, Join me. Before we start our Surya Namaskar, let's set up an intent for our class. Closing our eyes. Take a deep breath in and an audible breath out by saying, Ha. Ah. 
Deep breath in. Let's set up an intent of freeing ourselves from all the thoughts, all the worries, all the stress for the next one hour and promising ourselves to commit to give 100% towards you and only to you. With that, with a beautiful smile, we open our eyes. It's very important to smile. That's the biggest exercise in my class. But don't you smile sometimes. Meet me at the front edge of your mat. I will face forward and sideways. So let me guys know. So first face, pranam, asana, where we have prayer hands. Push all your fingers and everything tight. Let's weight them up. From here, from here. Both arms straight, bicep touching the ears. Slowly bring your hips forward. Do not have to drop your head too much. Yes, and hold it for one, two. Now do prayer hands. And slowly, four times to come down. Bring your elbows next to each other if you want. Last two. And slowly drop the top of your head, facing the yoga mat. Now what are we doing? We are gushing all the blood in our brain. You can bend your knees. Bring both your hands behind your calf muscle. And hold it for one, two, slowly. Let's take the right leg back and the left leg forward. Ashwa Sanchala. Very good. It helps to open our third eye chakra. Then from here, let's do plank. Dandasan. Take the left hand, left leg behind. Hands are underneath our shoulders. Very good. This is called plank. Helps to open our Vishuddhi chakra. Bend your knees. Flip your feet, coming to Ashtangana, chin and chest to the mat, elbows back. One, two, slowly straighten yourself for cobra. You can just come here and stay here for one, two, slowly curl up your toes, lift up your knees, bring your hips up, 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 up. Send your hips back. Now, watch it. Walk one step forward, one and one. See if you can drop your heels. One, two, lifting up the right leg, bringing it forward, holding for one, two, coming back to Hasta Padahastana, where the toes and fingers meet. And drop your head, my dear friends. One, two, slowly come on up. Arms come up. We do prana asana, where we bend our elbows, brings our hips forward and push your elbows back. Pushing your elbows back like this. One, two, slowly come on up. Namaste. Ready for the left side? Let's hit it. Two thumbs up. Bicep touching the ears. Hip forward. Hold it. One, two. Bring your hands four counts down. Try to touch the elbows. Four, three, two. Bring a soft bend in your knees. Bring hands behind your calf muscle. All the weights on the toes. One, two, right leg back, left leg forward, Ashwasan Chalan improves our flexibility. From here we go to a plank, Dandasana. One, two, drop your knees, Ashtangana, chin and chest to the mat, and slowly glide up, either to Cobra or upward facing dog. One, two, curl up your toes. Lift up your knees and bring your hips up, 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 up. Walk one leg forward, step forward, one, one. Hold it for downward facing dog, one, two. Lift up your leg, bring it forward. Ashwasan challenge, you can drop your knees also if you want. One, two, back to Padahastana. One, two, slowly come on up. Arms go straight up. Bend those elbows, push the elbows back, one. Two, and slowly straighten yourself out. Namaste. My dear friends, second set of Surya Namaskar, you know I like to tweak so that we become stronger. So we won't follow the whole sequence, just follow my, my, my instructions. Arms up, hips forward, hold it. One, two, now pray your hands. Connect both the elbows. Connect your elbows like this. 
I'll do it diagonally. So now see, I'm coming down, I'm coming down. Slowly, now I bend my knees a little bit. I let go of my hand and drop the top crown of my head. My hands are holding my cup. One, two. Now, take the right leg back. Drop your knee. Drop your knee, come on up. Come on up, hands on the waist. So, and now lean forward. I'm opening up your hip flexor. And come back, very good, Binta. Lean forward, come back. One more time, lean forward, come back last time. Lean forward, come back from here. Send the leg back. Now you are on your fours. Now let's do cat and a cow. So take a deep breath in, bring your chin to your chest, rounding your back. Round your back, now exhale, arch your back. Inhale. Chin to the chest, round your back. Exhale, arch your back. Last time, inhale. And exhale. From here, open up your right leg. Only the right leg goes back. Pay attention. Now bring your hands forward. Hands are forward. Bend your elbows. Left knee is on the yoga mat. Ready? We do a nice push up. We come down to kiss the yoga mat. We come up. Excellent, Devi Anive. We come down to kiss the yoga mat. We come up. Very good, Amita Ji. Excellent. Kiss the yoga mat and come up. Come down to kiss the yoga mat. Last time, last time. Come down and come up. Now, bring the knee together. Now, let's open up the right leg. And the left leg both. We come into a plank. Hands underneath our shoulders. Very good. All I'm doing is I bend my right knee to the yoga mat. I straight. Bend left. I straighten. Bend right. Straight. Left. Straight. Last time. Right. Left. And slowly from there. Go directly to downward facing dog. Once you're in downward facing dog, bend the right knee. Left, knee, left leg is straight and hold it. One, two. Now, bend the left knee and straighten up the right leg. Feel the stretch in your hands. Straight. Feel the stretch in your calf muscle. One, two. And slowly come on up where the toes and fingers meet. Once you are here, my dear friends, connect both the elbows. And nod your head, yes. Three times. One, two, three. Nod your head, no. One, two, three. Unlock your elbows and tuck your chin to the chest. Do not, and slowly come up. One vertebrae stacking. My dear friends, do not unlock your chin. Do not unlock your chin. And now unlock your chin. Excellent. I'm so glad you gave it a try. Ready for the left side? Let's go. Bicep touching the ears, hip forward and hold it. One, two, connect both the elbows. Slowly, four counts coming down. What are we going to do? We're going to drop the top of our head. We are going to bring our hands behind our calf muscle. Now, bend the right knee and straighten up the left knee. You will feel it in your IT bend. You will feel it. The stretch on the left leg in your sciatica nerve. So please do it. Now slowly straighten up the right leg. Bend the left knee. Yes, feel the stretch. Excellent. From here, take the right leg back. Drop the right knee. Come on up. Now open up your arms. Rotate and open up your arms. Towards me. So I'm right here. I'm right here, I rotate, perfect. And come on back, rotate, one, come on back, two, three, last one, four, very good, drop it, and come on back now, my dear friends. Send the right leg back. Bring both your hands in forward, forward, we're going to do a push up, right? So we bend down, 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 down. Whatever leg you did last time, do the opposite. 
Come down. I think I need to do this one. And up. Down. Kiss the yoga mat and come up. Bend those elbows. Kiss the yoga mat. Come up. Elbows bend. And up. Two more. Bend. And up. Bend. And up. Last one. Excellent. Pinky this and Come on up. Strong here, my dear friends. Bring both the legs back. Now, pay attention. We are on your el elbows. Come down on your elbows. And lift yourself up. You're on your elbows. And rock forward and back. Forward and back. Forward and back. One more. Forward, back. And slowly come to downward facing down. Now, my dear friends, remember we were bending the right knee, leg and the left. We will do it a little faster. So ready? Bend right. Bend left. Right, left. Right, left, right, left, and slowly come on up. When the toes and fingers meet, my dear friends, and hold it. One, two, slowly. Tuck your chin first to the chest. And slowly you're coming up, stacking one vertebrae at a time. Do not unlock your chin. Now when you're all the way up, you unlock your chin. Give a deep breath in. Feel. Did you feel the stretch in the spine? Yes, everything is working. We're aligning everything. We're aligning our whole body, giving a nice shoulder roll. Fantastic. Now, my dear friends, you have a choice. Either you do the next exercise with the weights or without the weights. Or you could even use one part, wherever you are today. So, all I'm doing is my hands are up and I bring and I do an imaginary clap underneath my leg. Imaginary clap underneath my leg. Very good, Pretty Bobby from Mumbai. Very good. That's all we are doing. We are just trying to clap it. Good job. Very good. Every time you bring your arms above your heart, you're burning extra calories. You're strengthening your health, your heart. So, isn't that fantastic? And guess what? We don't need to do jumping. We can even do it without jumping. No jumping cardio. Excellent. This is it. Only three more. Three. Two. Last one. And we'll finish it. Slowly come here. You can do a nice... Very good, very good. Now, real quickly. Pilate V. What is a Pilate V? Pilate V is where we connect both the heels together. Look down. Posture check is very important. Toes are facing diagonal. In. Right hand is out. I'm doing a little brain teaser also. So that way our brain has to kick in to activate. So, right hand sideways, left hand forward. Correct? Now, we go down. We come up, opposite, come up. You got it? You'll get it, very good. So, even for a minute, if you can challenge yourself to close your eyes and see which part is working. Are your inner thighs working when you bend? Yes. Are your shoulders working when you lift your arms? Yes. Is your armpit fat working to getting burnt? Yes. Are your chest working? Yes. Sometimes we need that check. How do you do that check? By closing your eyes. This is it. Very good. Only three more sets. Every time you come up, zip up that thigh. Remember that. Every time you come up, zip up that thigh. This is it. Only one more. Last one. And you know what? Sometimes when you feel, I cannot do it, drop the weights, but continue. Continue by dropping the weights. Now, my dear friends, what we are going to do is, again, come to the Pilates view only. You know what? Grab your ball. Put the ball in between your thighs. Now that our inner thigh is warmed up, or roll a towel and put it, whatever it is. But, 
my friends, we are still in Pilate B. Are you in Pilate B? Are your heels glued to each other? And your toes are facing diagonal. Now, if you look down, now the slice of the pizza has become small. And the shape of the ball has changed. Very good. Very good. So what is working? You're not going to do any legs, but what is what the leg is already working. It's already in motion. So all I'm going to do is I lift up my arms and I'm going to make angel wings and I come back facing forward. Palms up, circle and come back. Palms up, circle, come back. We're working on our shoulders, but do not forget to squeeze the ball. Very good. Circle and come back. Three more. Up, circle, come back. I'm working on your back fat. I'm working on your armpit fat. Last one, do it very smoothly without stopping. Make a nice circle. Very good. Now your hands are facing forward. We go in the reverse direction. So, the challenge for my regulars is lifting up both the heels. You don't have to. I'm not going to do it, but I'm going to challenge my regulars. You can lift up both the heels and stay there. We come up, we circle back. A reverse circle. So I'm not going to do it, but I challenge my regulars if you want to lift up your heels. Yes, you strengthen your Achilles. Very good. Only four more circles. We lift up opposite direction. Now, slowly close your eyes. Squeeze that ball, squeeze that ball. Let the arms be on autopilot. Squeeze that ball for last three. Focus is all on squeezing the ball. And only one more. Finish the round, finish the round. This is it. Done, 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 done. Wasn't that excellent, my dear friends? Now, let's take this out and let's grab our Pilates rig. Once we add, we do a sumo squat. What is a sumo squat? Your legs are more than hip width apart. If you don't have a ring, that's okay. You can hold a ball. It doesn't have, it doesn't matter. Now, there is a stick behind you. So you're gliding straight and you're coming straight. But when you come up, you don't lock your knees. Keep a soft knee. So you glide down, straight up. Don't have to come all the way up. That is a secret. So when you glide down, you come only halfway up. You glide down, you halfway up. Now, if you have the ring, your elbows are down. When you hold it, when you come up, squeeze the ring, change the shape of the ring. Slowly release while you come down and you start squeezing, squeezing, and you change the shape of the ring. You slowly let it go, halfway up and squeeze. You should be shaking. If you don't have a ring, if you have weights, do, do it with your weights. Or you just pretend and squeeze it as if it's as if you're holding a ring. So you put all your pressure. Sometimes we don't need anything. What are we working on? We're working on our inner thighs. We're working on our hips to melt. We're working on our outer thigh. And we're working on our bulgy arms. We're working on this bra fat. So squeeze it and release it. Excellent, Mila Bay from Austin. Squeeze it. Very good, Malini Bay. Release it. Last one. Stay down. Stay down. Now, imagine you don't have a ring also. All you're doing is stay down. Only the hand is working. One, two, three. From in, go in only. Don't release the ring at all. Do not release the ring. Yes, yes, yes. Five, four, three, three, two, two. Last one, last one. Hold it and hold it, hold it, hold it. Close your eyes, close your eyes. Feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it. Slowly open up your eyes. Slowly come up. Shake it out. We did it, didn't we? Very good. I try to use all the gadgets which can help us to burn more calories, bring us back to our shape and strengthen us. So, one more exercise. Your band has to be on your ankle. So wear your resistant bed. 
everything you can find in, on Amazon or if you are joining me from India on Flipkart. Put it on your resistant bed. Now open it up. Stretch your bed. Once you stretch your bed, let's bend our left knee. See my bend? Let's lift up our right leg on your big toe. Ready? All I'm doing right now is only lift up and tap. Tap. But you cannot do it till your knee is not diagonally faced. Face it diagonally. Your toes are not forward. Slant and bend it. And tap. 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 Lift up that hip. Squeeze that hip for five, four, three, two. Last one. Hold it. Now hands go behind our head. Hands go behind your head. Now, only one inch step forward. Or you can put one hand here, one hand. And tap behind you. Tap forward, tap behind you. What am I doing? I'm making your core stronger. So that it will be a perfect when you have to balance yourself. Back. Walk forward, back. Forward, back. One more time. Forward. Now stay back. Stay back. Stay back. Ready? Are you going to tap it? Hands can be here. Hands can be here. Wherever you want. Tap it at the back. One. Or put your hands. Two. Three. Four. Five. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Bring it in. Shake it out. Excellent. We have a left side. So stretch your leg. All the weight comes on your right. Now bring your toes facing diagonal. Bend the right knee. And ready to tap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Very good. Now, my dear friends, tap forward, tap back, tap forward, tap back behind you, forward, behind you, forward, behind you, forward, and stay at the back. Stay at the back. Ready? Tap it. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and excellent. Shake it out. Excellent, excellent. Let's release the band. And let's start with our lower body exercise. We had a good run. Meet me on your stomach. Meet me on your stomach. What are we working on our stomach? What happens? We get a lot of lower back injury. So I want to strengthen our lower back. Make sure you bring your towel with you and your Pilates ring with you. And first watch what I'm doing and then we can work on it. So we are working on two things. We are working on strengthening our lower back and also we are working to narrow down our waistline. So when we come on our stomach, drop your head, your forehead, look for what I'm doing. And then when I come up, my legs come up and I go back. So we will start with that, okay? Then we will add the hands. So ready, drop your forehead with a yoga mat on your hands. Come up, lift up the legs. Drop. Up, up, up. Down, down, down. Lift your legs also up, up, up. Down, down, down. Up, up, up. Down, down, down. Very good. Three more. Excellent. Lift your chest up too. Bring your chest up with you. Straighten up your hands. And slowly come down. Now, stay down and only lift up your legs. Lift up your legs up. Up. Do not touch the yoga mat. Five. Only up. Legs are only coming up. 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 Three. Four. Two. Last one. Slowly drop. Now, only the head comes up. So, bring your hands on the side or behind your head. Or bring it on the side and come up and down. 
Hands behind the head. Bend down. Only the head is working. Open up your legs. Your legs are wide. Last three. Two. Last one. Slowly drop it. Very good. Very good. Now, my dear friends, look what we're going to do. So from here, from here, we come up to child's pose like this, where our hips are sitting on your heels, hands are straight, and we drop it to Bhujangasana, to Cobra. Ready? Go back to child's pose and come down to Bhujangasana. Very good, Chandrabala babies. Fantastic. And drop. I'm doing it very slow. Go back and move forward. Back. One more time and forward. Excellent, excellent. Now, my dear friends, I'm going to be on my left hand. I'm going to sleep on my left side. Look right like this. And my legs are stacked up. Bring your hands in front of your chest. So do not fall forward, do not fall back. Straight line, straight line. Now, my dear friends, bring your top leg in front of you. Top leg is in front of you. Lift up the bottom leg. Now, flex your feet. Your feet are flat. We lift up and halfway down. Do not touch the yoga mat. Lift up, slow down. Up, halfway down. Up, slow down. The slower you go, then you will make the most benefit of it. But if you go very fast up and down, you're damaging your <clears throat> knee joint. <laughs> Five, four, three. Excellent, Rupa Masrani. Two. Meet me up. Meet me up from here. Can you make small circles? Stay up on circle fun. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, now lift. Stay up on me. Pulse it. Push it up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And hold it for one and only two. Slowly drop it. Excellent, my dear friends. You did a good job working on it. Now, my dear friends, bring both your knees forward. Connect your big toe together. Interlace your big toe together. Very good. You open and you close. You open and you close. You got it that much? Now, when you open it, stay there. Great. Open it, stay there. Kick your leg. Bring it in. Close the book. Open, kick, in, close. Open, kick, in, close. Open, kick, in, close. Open, kick, in, close. Last time, open, kick, in, close. Leave it open, leave the book open and push it from here. Take your pointer finger to your knee and push. One, two, only back, only back, only back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Close the book. Very good. Slowly come on up and let's switch on the other side. I am on my right side. My top leg, my left leg is coming forward. My top hand, which is my left hand, is in front of my chest. My feet are flexed. I lift up and I slowly come down, but I do not touch the yoga mat. We come down, but we do not touch the yoga mat. Come on, Naina Mehta. Very good, Meenakshi Ben. Done. I'm right here with you, Jaina. Renuka Ben, Renu Ben. Come on, come on. I'm here. I'm here. This is it. Only five more. Five, four, three. Ready? Lift up. Stay there. Stay there. Point your toes and make a nice in, invisible circle size of an orange. One, two, three. No, lift up. Do the circle with your inner thigh. The lady with your the lady with the red pants. Not your don't rope, circle your ankle. 
you're circling with your inner thigh, reverse. Reverse one. Ah, now you're talking. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and stop. Ready? Let's pulse it. Ten. Come on, only up, only up. Four, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Slowly drop it. Very good. Bring both the knees in front of your chest. Connect both your big toes together. We open the book, we close the book. We open, we close. When we open, open it completely and close it. Open it completely and close it. This time when you open, kick your leg. Bring the toe back to the toe and close the book. Open, kick, toe, close. Open, kick, toe, close. Open, kick, toe, close. Amita ji, your granddaughter is adorable. She is so cute. I want to come and play with her. Close. Five more. Open, kick, close. Open, kick, toe, close. Only two more. Open, kick, down, close. Last one. Keep it open. Bring your finger and push it back for 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly close the book. Big, big out. Very good. Make sure you grab your ring. <laughs> what I do is I use two towels. I make a small roll of a towel and I put it underneath my cervical neck. And a long one to cushion my lower back. We're not getting young, so I'm going to do as much as I can to make myself comfortable also and protect our body. Very good, my dear friends. Now, my dear friends. We are going to do bridges. Bridges is the mother load of everything, as I always say. So, take the ring. Put it in between your thighs. If you don't have a ring, Take a ball, take a roll of a big towel and toes are facing forward. Now, straighten up your arms first and see if your finger, your big finger is touching the heels. They should almost connect. Look up straight, put all the weight on your feet and slowly only lift up your hips, your shoulders, your head, everything is on the yoga mat. Ready? Let's go. Lift up only the hips up, up, up and stay there for five, four, three, two. Slowly bring yourself down, down, down. Got it, everybody? Now, two counts up. Ready? Let's go. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Very good. Last time. Up, up, down, down. Now, this time when you are up, stay up. Stay up. Now, squeeze the ring. Four, one count, squeeze one. Keep it squeezed, drop it, open up the ring. Lift up, squeeze the ring for two counts. One, two, slowly drop. Lift up, one, two, three, slowly drop. Lift up, four squeeze, three squeeze, two squeeze, one, slowly come down. Very good, make sure you keep on squeezing. Up, five, Four, three, two, one, down. Lift up. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly down. My regulars, remember your hands are up. Hands are straight up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly down. Lift up. Eight, squeeze, squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one. One, slowly come down. Now, my dear friends, pay attention. Lift up. Preeti, are you ready, Preeti Desai? Preeti Desai? Sorry. Now, only lift up your right heel. Lift up only your right heel. Very good. Now, lift up the left heel. Are you up? Both the heels are up. Now, squeeze it for 10 counts. Squeeze 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly drop it. Get rid of the ring 
and do be Markat Asan. Hence, on your side, drop both the knees on one side. Drop it on the other side. We're going to do that for 10 counts. Ready? Let's go. 10. Both the knees. Both the knees. Very good. Very good. Feel it in your waistline, my dear friends. You stretch. Almost your both the knees are touching the yoga mat. Feel it in your waistline. Excellent, Binta. Perfect. Last one. Very good. Slowly come on back. Grab the ring one more time and hold it up. Hold it up. Bring your both legs up 90 degrees. That's all I want. Now, look what I'm doing. I straighten my right leg. I bring it in. I straighten my left leg. I bring it in. That's all we are doing. Ready? Let's go. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left, right, left, two more counts. Right, left, right, left, one more. Right, left, and slowly drop it. Now, my dear friends, slowly swing yourself and come up. Come up, hold the ring as if you're driving a car. You're driving a car. Bend your knees. Bend your knees and you're, you're not here. You're a little bit at the back. Drive the car. Now, lift up all your toes. Only on your heels. Only on the heels. Ready? Drive the car. One, two, three, four, five. Now, turn, rotate to the right. Now, drive your car. One, two, three, four, five. Slowly come up. Come forward. Come forward. Rotate to the left and go back. Go back a little bit. Now drive your car. One, two, three, four, five. Slowly come up. Now let's drive back and forth. So you're forward. Go forward. Now go back as much as you can. Zip up your thighs. Zip up your thighs. Forward and back. Forward. Try not to lift up your heels. Yes, we're working on our abdominal. Back. But I'm using the Pilates ring to make it easy for you and to give you a balance. Very good. Now come back to the center. Now rotate to the right. Right and go back, back, right, right. Two more, two more. Last one, center, go center forward and back. Forward, you can bring your hands, take a break also. Forward. Bring it back. Take a break from your hands. Ready? Now we are going to go to the left side. Keep your arms straight now. Now go back. Back. Three. Two. Last one. Slowly come forward. Drop the ring. Thank you guys for being with me. Do a figure four. Figure four stretch. Right leg bend on the left knee. Very good. Keep it right there. Take your right hand. Over your right thigh and push it down. Right hand over your right thigh and push the right thigh towards the ground. Very good. Now keep the figure four and keep your hand behind your head. Now, where are we going to lift up our body from our stomach, from our chest? So shoulders are going to peeling away from the yoga mat. Hands are behind your head. Elbows are far away. Ready? Take a deep breath in. Breathe out and lift up. Figure four is still there. Figure four is still in action. Two. Breathe in. When you come up, breathe out. Breathe out when you come up. Last two. Last one. And stay up. Hold it for five, four, three. Chill is away from the chest. Slowly drop it. Very good. Let it go. Left leg figure four. First, do the figure four. Take your left hand over your left thigh and push it down. Feel the stretch. Feel the stretch on your hip flexors. Feel the stretch in your IT bed. Feel the stretch in your eye, uh, sciatica nerve. Now slowly bring your head. You're only gliding up and coming down. It's only a glide, okay? Hands behind your head. 
Ready? Let's go. Lift up and down. So when you're down, you breathe in. You come up, you breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe out when you come up. Very good. Only two more. And you stay up. Ready? And pulse it for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come down. Hands on the side. Now, come back again. Cross your leg over your right leg as if you're sitting to have a coffee. Did you cross it? Now, once you crossed it, drop both the knees on the right side. Aha! Did you feel the stretch? Very good. Slowly come on up. Uncross. Cross the left leg. First cross it. And now drop it on the left side. Yes. Very good. Slowly come on up. Bring your hands underneath your glutes. We are working on the third tier of our abdomen. The fat which we collect right near our pubic. So lift up your leg. Right leg straight up. Point your toes. Flex your feet. Point your toes. Flex. Point. Flex. Keep it pointed. When you are, we are going to make circles. So take a deep breath in. Circle. And you breathe out when you come down. And you flex your feet. Point your toes. Breathe in. When you come down, flex and breathe out. Point. Flex. Point. Flex. When you're up, you breathe in. Down. Breathe out. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Come on up. Now, my dear friends, flex your feet and make a nice circle. Circle your ankle. Circle one. Circle two. Circle three. Reverse. Reverse ankle. Two and three. Keep it pointed. Now you drop your leg by breathing in. When you lift up, you breathe out. Flex your feet and breathe in. Point your toes and breathe out. Flex. Breathe in. Point up. Breathe out. Flex. Point. Breathe in. Up, breathe out for five, four. Do it very graceful. I promise you, you will get a flat belly. Last three, last two, last one. Slowly drop it, breathe that knee and interlace your fingers, straighten up your left leg. Now, bring it towards your chest, hold it. Take a deep breath in. When you breathe out, you're coming up to kiss your knee. Ready? Ah. Feel the stretch. Slowly drop your head. Drop your feet. Bring your hands behind your hips. And lift up the left leg. Ready? Point. Flex. Point. Flex. Point. Flex. Keep it pointed. Ready? The circle. One. Again. Top. You breathe in. Bottom, you breathe out. Point your toes, breathe in. Flex your feet, breathe out. Point, flex. Point, flex. Breathe in, breathe out. For five, four, three, two, last one. And come on up. Let's circle our ankle. Circle one, two, and three, reverse. One, two, and three. Keep it pointed. And when you come down, first come down, breathe in. Keep it pointed to breathe out. At the bottom, you flex your feet to breathe in. Top, you breathe out, pointing. Breathe in, breathe out. Very good. Five. Four. Three, two, last one, finish it, finish it. Bring that knee, interlace your fingers over your shin. Straighten up the right leg, ready? Take a deep breath in and breathe out and come up to kiss your knee. Slowly drop your head. Now bring both the knees and put your hands and give a nice hug and rock side to side. 
Very good, very good. You can rock back in front. And then you can swing your legs. See if you can bring your legs behind. Very good, very good. Good job. Good job. And slowly swing yourself up. Now, my dear friends, interlace your fingers, but hold only your toes. Hold only your toes. Now, not the back, only the toes. Don't flap your, don't flap your feet. Pay attention. Take a deep breath in. You breathe out, you lean forward and look down. I want you to feel the stretch in your spine. You're feeling the stretch in your inner thigh, but I want you to feel the stretch in your spine. So take a deep breath in, breathe out and lean forward. Once you're forward, now you can flip. Flip your, flap, I mean flap your feet. Very good, but you feel the stretch in your spine also. And slowly come on up. Meet me in your squat. Sorry, I'm running late. My dear friends, I want to have, I have a request for all of you. You know, holidays are coming up. Of course, <clears throat> pollution is starting for all the Jain people from tomorrow. Then comes Ganpati. Then comes Navratri. Then comes Diwali. Then comes Thanksgiving for, for America. Then comes, uh, what is it? Christmas. So we are literally on a countdown. All I can request is find a discipline to burn some extra calories so that way we don't lose all our year's health, all our year's hard work in eating all the mitais and all the snacks and attending all the parties. So this is a self-motivating class. So you guys give me only three things, commitment, consistency, and let's concentrate on our goal. Uh, I think we're running out of time, so no puck out time today. But we will start with our pranayam. I did have a good puck out time, but I think I'm not in that mood frame today. It's about forgiveness, and then we can go over it. So I'm literally, but I'm very happy for all of you coming. Seema Shah, I haven't seen you for a while. What a pleasure. Prabha Parikh, I welcome you. I welcome Raj Shah, Dharti Bain from Ahmedabad, Rupa Bain from Bombay, Sarlaji Smriti Bain Meenal from, not from Austin, but from OC. Yes, I welcome all of you. I thank you all of you for coming, putting the faith in me, trusting me. Asha Ji, almost done. I promise you. And it's always a pleasure when you come and randomly I run into you and I get a beautiful hug from you. Seeking the blessing from our own Chandra Bala Bain. We start our pranayam, but you know all the rules. I do not start till I don't see a smile. Are Vah Aarti von Braunagar has a beautiful smile for me. Excellent Dharti Bain. Um, Chandra Bala Bain. Meena is here. Thank you for recommending. And I see a beautiful smile from Vegas. Cling, cling, cling. Rina Gajar, beautiful smile. Meena, Meena Malini Bain, love you. Hansa Bain, everybody. I welcome all of you. And today's meditation is Shanti Mantra. It is every, mostly, you all of you know it, Kapoor Gauram Karuna, you know, the slok. So, you know it, you don't know it, just surrender. Right away, let's surrender to it. It's only for three minutes. So, starting to surrender with our pranayam, we are going to do two audible ha. Ready? Take a deep breath in. This time, with a beautiful smile, Deep breath in. Ah. Closing our eyes. 
try not to open your eyes unless you're a newcomer. We will start with Kapal Bhati. The forceful exhalation removes all the toxins. It helps to regulate our thyroid. For Kapal Bhati, we do Prana Mudra. Take the tip of your ring finger, tip of your thumb. Take off your pinky finger to the tip of your thumb. Press it. Prana Mudra generates energy to our body. Put it on your knees. Sitting in half lotus, getting ready to activate our Manipura Chakra, which is wisdom and our gut feeling. Forceful breathing in and out. Stomach goes back and forth for 30 counts. Deep breath in. Go. That's five, four, three, two. Last one. <clears throat> right away going to our three locks. Jalandaban, Udiyanban, and, and Mulabad. Take a deep breath in. Slowly breathe every drop of your breath out by dropping your chin to your chest. No more breathing. Squeeze your belly button to the spine. Send all your focus, squeezing your glutes, your anal glands. Do not release the squeeze and do not release your breath. No more breathing. The chin lock is called Jalanda Band. The stomach lock is called Udyan Band. And the anal, the glute lock is called Mula Band. Slowly, only unlock your chin. Do not release your breath. Release your stomach. Release your glutes. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Our second set of Kapal Bhati is exercising our liver. So, Take the left first two fingers, lock your left nostril. Turn your head, rotate your head over your right shoulder. Single nostril, Kapal Bhati, stomach going back and front. Ready? Go. Five, four, three, two, last one. Slowly unlock your nostril. Come back to the center. Eyes are still closed. Now take the right first two finger. Lock your right nostril. We are exercising our pancreas. Rotate your head over your left shoulder. Ready? Kapal Bhati, go. Last two. Last three, last one, unlock your nostril, rotate your head back. One more set of the three locks. So my dear friends, take a deep breath in. Completely breathe every breath out and drop your chin to the chest. Stop your breath, no more breathing. Squeeze the belly button to the spine. Send all your focus squeezing your glutes. Five. Four, three, two, slowly only unlock your chin. Do not release your breath. Release your stomach, release your glutes. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. From here today, we're going to go directly to Anulom Vilom to improve our oxygen level. For Anulom Vilom, only with the left hand, we are going to do Vayu Mudra. So take your index finger to the root of your thumb. Press your index finger. Flip it. You know, my friends, Vayu Mudra helps you with any kind of joint pain, sciatica pain, knee pain. With our left hand, right hand, we do Vishnu Mudra. Bend your index finger, bend your middle finger. Flip your hand, take the right thumb and lock the right nostril. And just follow my count. Breathe from the left nostril. Breathe in, two, three, four. Lock both the nostrils for three, two, one. Breathe out from right, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale right, two, three, four. Lock both the nostrils for three, two, one. Exhale left, two, three, four, 
five, six, inhale, left, two, three, four, lock, four, three, two, one, exhale, right, two, three, four, five, six, inhale, right, two, three, four, lock, four, three, two, one, exhale, left, two, three, four, five, six, inhale, left, two, three, four, lock, both the nostril for four, three, two, one, exhale, right, two, three, four, five, six, inhale, right, two, three, four, lock, four, three, two, one, exhale, left, two, three, four, five, six, inhale, left, two, three, four, lock, four, three, two, one, exhale, right, two, three, four, five, six, inhale, right, two, three, four, lock, four, three, two, one, and exhale, two, three, four, five, six, slowly. Coming back. Getting ready for Agni Sar to speed up our metabolism. Take both your palms, put it on your knees, bend your elbows. Sit up straight. Taking a deep breath in. Lean forward and exhale. And do not breathe anymore. Hold your breath. Only the stomach goes back and front without making any sound, just like Kapal Bhati. 20 counts, go. Last two, last one. Slowly come on back. One more set. Sitting up straight, taking a deep breath in. Lean forward, breathe out. And go. Last five, four, three, two. Last one, slowly come on up. Getting ready to fix our memories. Open our brain cells with Brahmri. Tuck your thumb in your earlobes, ears. Index finger over your eyes. Middle finger gently pressing the nostril. Ring finger over your upper lip. And pinky finger on your jawline. Making a humming, buzzing bee sound. Seal your lips. Take a deep breath in. Getting ready for set number two. Deep breath in. Slowly. Set number three, deep breath in. Slowly, when you are done, untuck your fingers. We have only three more minutes left. Eyes are still closed. Relaxing your shoulders. Relaxing your tongue. Send all your focus to your jawline. Release all the stress from your jaw.
Feeling so much at peace. Feeling very loved. Feeling light as a feather. We bring both our hands together and we bow down to seal our practice today. Slowly coming up, eyes are still closed. We've collected amazing energy. Rub those hands. Take the base of your palm over your eyelid and gently press it. And now cover your hands over your face, open and close your eyes, releasing the magic potion you collected, the energy you collected. Close your eyes, take that energy, rub it over your glowing face, all over your body. Let's take a moment to thank each and every part of our body. Thank you for letting us work out. From my heart to your heart, namaste. <laughs> 